This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Face Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path, everybody. So, just hear me out first off, Fury. So, the president, he's super ripped, but then he was like fat underneath it. What if he was wearing a fat suit and then wearing a muscle suit over that and he's actually just like a shrimp? I have no idea. <laughs> Anyhow, also Marty's a little tired, but it doesn't... Uh, no, I'm not. I, I had to sneeze. That's why I sounded weird. Oh. Well, you ate apple crisp and you oh, were low energy. Oh, it was energy. so good. Apple crisp is great. Anyhow... I'm cold. We're in the middle part two now of the Grand Turnabout. Of five. <laughs> no, I think there's only two parts. Let's start. Will there be no more Ace Attorney games after this? I think I found a way to get the 3DS ones oh, to work. Okay. Because they're on the uh, Google do Play Store. Do you need store. the 3D to do? No, I think they're on the Google Play Store. Oh, Okay. So if that's the case, we will be able to record more. And then he'll just be like, Artie's posting nothing but Ace Attorney videos. Yep. I liked it back when he played Lemmings Packs. <laughs> and only Lemmings Packs. Well, too bad. <laughs> all right. Look at all the people. It's April 6th, 4.51 p.m. Outside the Grand Tower, temporary film lot. Oh, John just, just learned his dad just, is the president. I just want to say, uh, Nicole's got the rough end of that deal. She's carrying all of the equipment. <laughs> and Lana's just like, mm, he me and my photographer. Me and my photographer? You mean me and my camera? And photographer. Ugh. Okay, look at the sprite on the big screen of Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you shouldn't look at the big screen. It's fine. John. So that guy was my dad? He found out about his own birth so suddenly. And furthermore, his newfound father is no longer in this world. I'd always been searching for my dad. John. I get it, all right? He's the president. I know it's a complicated situation. But we even met face to face during filming. So then why, huh? Why did he have to tell me who he really was? I'm sorry, John. Ma Mom, you don't need to apologize. No matter how you look at it, it's all my fault. Yesterday I broke my promise with you and you didn't even notice the fire on the roof. No, he didn't. He didn't notice the fire. <laughs> you, I wasn't there, John. You should have put it out. You should have noticed on the phone. So I destroyed everything. I crushed it all. My dad and those flowers that my mom carefully grew. John, please, for now, just don't think about anything. Just stay like this for a little while. Just for a little while, okay? The bond between a parent and child. That's the meaning behind lion lilies. I know it's not my style, but that flower's from Zane Fa. However, we have no means of protecting that bond. Agent Lane, allow me to say this. The case won't be solved by sentimentality alone. Therefore, shouldn't we do all that we can to solve it? Yeah, you're right. The recreation of the past has finished. Were your father's deductions correct? My old man took his deductions to the grave. He never told anyone about them. So who knows if they were right or not? In that case, what about your own deductions? I would like to hear what you think happened based on the recreation. In order for us to get closer to the truth of 12 years ago. Yeah! I was thinking it's about time. I can see it now. My old man's back real close. I'll catch up to him for sure. To the truth that my old man uncovered. Truth of the SS5 incident. There's no mistake that the president went to the orphanage. The stuffed toy is proof of that. He was planning to meet with Amy Marsh. However, the president was kidnapped, and Cameron just happened to witness it. If Cameron hadn't been there, it probably would have just been a kidnapping with no murder. Afterwards, the body was moved to the flower beds and a fake photo was taken. Was that what really happened 12 years ago? SS5 incident case files updated in the organizer. However, there's one thing I still don't get. Something you don't get? It's this. Why did they need to take a fake photo? Why would they go for all that trouble and even make the president take part in the photo? That's true. However, the answer to that riddle must lie somewhere within. Once we get past the layers upon layers of deductions, we shall surely reach it. Yeah, that's right. I'd like to hear your deductions as well. 
Let's rebut this fool. I just realized, if I ever replay these games, it's gonna be so weird to only hear the text and not hear anyone talking. Yeah. It would <laughs> be <laughs> so <laughs> strange. Agent Lane, I'd like to verify a few things that may have seemed obvious at first glance. Are we certain that the president actually went to the orphanage? Okay, I get it. You're saying you want proof? Everyone always is demanding proof of Mr. Edgeworth, after all. You didn't have to tell him that. I mean, it's true. Edgeworth demands proof from Phoenix Wright, so it's just coming back to yeah. bite him. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's kind of nice to see, honestly. You mean this stuffed animal? The one with the recording device? That's right! Inside that toy was a recording from John's birth mother, Amy Marsh. Indeed. She said that she would meet with him at midnight. Wow! You two are perfectly in sync! The truth is becoming clear, like you're peeling off the layers of a scallion. Kay, a scallion doesn't have anything on the inside. Please don't make such foreboding analogies. The truth is becoming clear, like you're peeling off the skin of a wolf! C can you stop making those foreboding analogies? <clears throat> Let's get back on track. Why didn't you say, like, peeling a banana? Or an onion. <laughs> well, yeah, onions. Ogres are like onions. <laughs> That's all you need to know about Shrek. Okay. I'd also like to verify the details of this point as much as possible. They, they just cry a lot? Ogres? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, oh! you leave about the sun, they start sprouting all, like, these brown hairs and stuff. Ah! Layers! <laughs> uh -oh. Mr. Cameron witnessed the president and his kidnapper near the orphanage. And Mr. Cameron was standing by the snowman near the road. Then, the murderer picked up a brick, snuck up on him from behind, and wham! Yay! Okay, we are simply verifying what actually transpired. There's no need to be scared. That was so intense! Half the details of this case just vanished from my brain! Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Lang, let's carefully verify all the facts of this case. Yeesh! Well, if you're gonna listen, I'll talk as much as you want. If Cameron hadn't been there, it probably would have been just a kidnapping with no murder. If he hadn't been there, you say? That's an interesting theory. Care to explain in more detail? It's simple. Cameron was killed because he saw the kidnapping. The kidnapping itself was a success. If he hadn't been there, no blood would have been spilled. Hmm, no blood would have been spilled. You make it sound like it was his own fault for being there. Okay, that's not it. What Agent Lane's trying to say is, simply, besides Mr. Cameron, there were no other casualties at the crime scene. Oh, was that all? Of course, that's obvious. The president was kidnapped, but once the ransom money was paid, he was returned safe and sound. Hmm, that sounds like an obvious point. However, something about it bothers me. I may need to reevaluate the evidence once more. You are done explaining things to your assistant? I still have one last thing to confirm. Afterwards, the body was moved to the flower beds and a fake photo was taken. That's also an important point. I'd like to take another good, clean look at that information. Yeah, I'm with you there. Let's start with what Cameron saw before he was murdered. Cameron witnessed the president and the kidnapper in front of the orphanage. However, the culprit wanted to conceal the connection between the incident and the orphanage. That's right. That's why Cameron's original role of film was disposed of. And a fake photo was taken of them standing outside the grounds of the orphanage. Yes, and Cameron's body was then moved to match the photo. <sighs> it's finally becoming clear, the secret that was buried in the snow for 12 years. Is this the truth of the SS5 incident? Mr. Edgeworth, what's the matter? There is still something hidden behind this case. Huh? What do you mean? There is a piece of evidence that cannot be explained by Agent Lane's theory. As long as there's a contradiction, we'll have to present it in order to advance our reasoning. I just realized Kay's scarf looks like a bird. Yep. It's got the bird feathers hanging down. So this is the one Edgeworth was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this, considering that, um, you know, someone planned a gun. Someone planned a gun? What? Well, somebody had a gun. Somebody yeah. had the brick. To kidnap the guy. Yeah. The brick was just randomly taken. Um... Here's the thing. Why two people? What do you mean, why two people? 
Like, why why did they need two people to carry out a kidnapping? You wouldn't need that many. You might. I feel like you would. President's buff. Not that buff, though. Um, is it the stupid shoes? It's not the st shoes. What's up with the fire? Is it about the fire? Prior to the incident, a child's prank caused the fire to go crazy. Child's drawing. Oh, what's on the child's drawing? That's right. Dogan was there. He had <laughs> yeah. his dog. So, yeah, he would have been killed regardless. There's also the blood stain. Oh, yeah. I forgot Dogan. <laughs> Dogan. <laughs> If the eyewitness, McCameron, had not been there, no murder would have taken place. Is that really the case? The criminal's goal was only to kidnap the president. If there were no witnesses, there would have been no reason to commit murder, right? And what if Cameron wasn't the only one who was murdered? There was a large bloodstain near the flower beds. However, Cameron was murdered near the snowman. Ergo, this bloodstain could not have belonged to Cameron. Someone else's blood was spilled, and quite a vast amount at that. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, do you have any idea what you're saying? I do. It's hard to believe, however, that is what the evidence indicates. On that night, 12 years ago, there were two murders. Are you saying that the other murder was covered up? Who? Just who the heck could have been killed? Well, it wouldn't have been the child, because the child managed to draw a picture. Right. A murder that was cleverly concealed, all traces of it were erased, and the incident itself was completely deleted from the case files. However, there's one thing, one piece of evidence that still remains intact after 12 years. This piece of evidence shows that something happened that night. Um, oh, probably because of the letters that Jill Crane wrote, maybe? No. Um. Is it the shoes? No. You keep covering over the shoes, that's why. Something happened that night. Fire? Go to the first page. The first page doesn't have anything from the SS5 incident. Oh, okay. SS5 is all on this page and like so, okay. a tiny bit on this page. Okay, so there's a bloodstained button. Yeah, bloodstained button. Cameron's photo, which was fake. Cameron's testimony left on Jill Crane's answering machine. The fire. The victim's shoes, the mysterious blood stain, and then the drawing by the child. Well, let me see the child's drawing. There's flowers, flower beds. Dogen came by. Because that shows that he got hit. <laughs> this is insane if this is what really happened. is some Has somebody been... Because they've been talking about how the president just suddenly changed out of nowhere, like after the incident happened mm -hmm. and he was retrieved. I'm wondering, is somebody pretending to be the president and they <laughs> killed him? <laughs> you think so? I wonder, that's what I'm wondering. Like, because he's so radically different and then he has this fake suit. So hmm. I'm wondering if they have the suit to make him look like the I mean, he president. still looks like the president though. Well, but with facial surgery is possible. <laughs> Come on, we know this. I really want to- is it that? Is it the child's drawing? It is the child's drawing. <laughs> it's probably for the wrong reason. The other murder incident was buried in the dark by Blaze de Best. However, there is still one piece of evidence that remains. Agent Lane, it survived by your father's hands. My old man, you say? Please recall. There was one more thing that was hidden along with the traces of the murder. And that is the existence of the boy who caused the fire. Why did Blaze make the boy disappear? It's because he saw something that he wasn't supposed to see. What was the thing he wasn't supposed to see? Everything is drawn in this picture. The drawing my old man had! The person drawn on the right is most likely the president. The Mozilla doll is also drawn near him. And the person standing opposite him is... Dogen. For some reason we have his profile. A man with a knife and a large black dog. He is none other than Sirhan Dogen. What? The assassin? Why would an assassin appear before a president? The answer is clear. Indeed, what occurred that night on the orphanage grounds 12 years ago was not a kidnapping. 
It was a presidential assassination. Oh! Then Miss Roland and Mr. Blaze were... Yes, the two were likely partners in crime. One furnished the orphanage to use as the oh, scene no! of the incident. <laughs> what? Okay, so Roland's just like, Oh, yes, me and my beautiful thing. He, he just let his beard on fire. It's in front of the beard. Oh, it, it looks like he's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. He's creepy. And the other covered up the young boy's testimony. It's likely that Mr. Cameron was murdered because he witnessed the assassination itself. After all, the kidnapping never actually happened. Stop messing around! You're saying that the president was assassinated 12 years ago? Yeah. We just found his body today! He's been alive up until now! That's right! I mean, we met him ourselves. If the president was assassinated 12 years ago, and the president's body was found today, that would imply there were two presidents. Yeah, and that can't be right! Are you sure about that? That's what I said! There is the possibility that there were two presidents. That's right. Up until now, I've been getting a strange feeling from the president. I was too. Even so, I still respect the man. Zane Fa's a small country, but he carried the nation with his strength. The image of President Juan that Agent Lane described. You, you are wrong. I... He revealed his true form. Differs far too greatly from the President Juan we knew. It's as if they were two entirely different people. If there were, in fact, two Zane Fa presidents, exactly how would such a scenario be possible? What would make the existence of two presidents possible? The president had a twin brother, one of them was a body double, the victim looked like the president. The victim of the thing looked like the president? That would make no sense because it was the president. Right? They're talking about the victim of this current case, not the SS5 incident. I would be really surprised if that was the case. Body double? I mean, we could pull a Padme getting blown up in front of the, in front of the ship thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's you, true. you did everything for me. Or twin brother. Maybe. We already did the twin uh, plot twist it's stuff. It's possible. Well, maybe that's why he had, um, I don't know. Maybe that's why he liked the twins thing. He's like, ooh, we could have a twin brother. Body double. Ah, th th I, I really don't want to believe that the victim looked like the president. Because he was so similar to the president that it's that would be It's not that one. Okay, good. Body double? You think it's body double? I guess. I don't know. If we were to assume that one of them was a body double, wouldn't it be possible then? Well, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes sense because if Amy Marsh was like, Hey, meet me in front of this orphanage at midnight. He'd be like, "That's a little sketch." <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna send my body double out there, or, or vice versa. The body double's like, "I'll, I'll man the fort. You go." Mm, a body double. President Kwan possessed immense power and authority in Zane Fa. I'm sure there were those who envied his position and made attempts on his life. Yes, just as he was attacked a few days ago at Gord Lake. It's true, there were those who sought Kwan's life from time to time. But I can't easily believe that there were two presidents. At least not without any evidence. Do I have evidence that proves there were two presidents? Mm. Uh, recent evidence? Is it because of the... I... Do we? Let me look at the crime scene notes. Of Mr. Bleh. So he's hit there. Crushed to death. 58. That is the outfit he wears, right? Yeah, that's the outfit he wears. What is the evidence that we would need? Let me check out Cameron's photo. Does he have brown hair in that photo, or is that the lighting? No, he has brown hair. That can't be right, because the other president had blonde hair. No, he definitely had brown hair. Okay, it was a it looks different with the lighting. It's darker because of the lighting, yeah. Okay. Um, evidence that there's two presidents. Even I don't remember this one. I don't remember this at all. Is it uh, Cameron's photo? No. If you look at the evidence, you'll see that there were two presidents. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, unfortunately I have no idea what you're talking about. Wayne Z says... 
Evidence doesn't speak. Evidence with no meaning won't tell us anything. Gah! Looks like this wasn't it. Um... What was the letter for? Security camera? Oh, maybe that's the thing? He just looked kind of fatter there. Although, also, 12 years puts some weight on you. The president was never seen coming down. These are so many circumstances. Law does testimony, who cares? President never passed through the 54th first floor storehouse. Mm. The bug. Okay. Courtney gave it to him. It's like, Mr. Edgeworth, uh, are you done thinking? I need to think even more. I'm wondering, is there a, a piece of evidence that says, like, the president changed after... I mean, the, the testimony thing doesn't say, oh man, the president just took off his coat. <laughs> oh, is it in the child's drawing again? We could try it. I actually don't remember. What if... Hold on, let me see the snowman. No, it doesn't have a full set of clothes. I was wondering if it was like th those were the other dude's clothes or something. Oh. What does the letter say? That's what I'm wondering. Helping with the plan. We can get to know each other. Get what, know what we want. Kill two birds with one stone. Get revenge for 12 years ago. Is it the Mozilla doll? Maybe there's, cause there's two? Maybe. No. No. What are we Just doing? present everything with the president. Present the files. I wonder if that will be it. This, these files? Yeah. Nice one. Has Agent Lane not noticed this contradiction? Or has he noticed it, but he can't admit it? What is it, Mr. Prosecutor? Don't shout something out only to suddenly clam up. According to the recording on the doll, the president visited the orphanage at midnight. However, that should not have been possible. Huh? Why is that? Why? Because at the time, the president should have been at the embassy. He was together with Agent Lane's father. So, Agent Lane, you really did notice. He was in two places at the same time. Ergo, there must have been two presidents. Oh! Then which of the two was the real president on that day 12 years ago? Most likely the one who died. Who? Who contacted Dogen to murder Juan? In order to learn that first, we must have a look at the evidence that we proved was false earlier. And that piece of evidence we know to be false is... The photo taken with Cameron's camera was taken after he was murdered. And he was murdered because he witnessed the, president, the presidential assassination. In other words, the photo must have been taken following the assassination. Given that, who is the president pictured in the fake photo? Is it please? We must consider him to be the body double. That'd be funny. In, in other words, the body double had the real president murdered and then took his place! Patricia Rowland and Blaze must have cooperated in that plan. Okay, but like... Who? Who wanted to be president of Zayn Fa? <laughs> the body of double. Our, of our people. Hold it! Juan's body was never found. Just where could it have disappeared to? The answer to that is already quite apparent. This is where the real president's body was. In the Mozilla head? No. No. Uh, buried? Oh! Oh no! Last night, there was something Blaze had to unearth with his own two hands. That item was not the ransom. It was something far more important. Uh. So Blaze unburied the- The real president's body. The possibility is quite high. What did you say? They had to plan this so much they'd be like, all right, all right, all right. Blaze, you take the shovel. Be ready. Yeah. And then they're like, oh shoot, there's a person. 
This worked out remarkably well considering how much went wrong. Some kid <laughs> saw the presidential assassination. Some guy, a journalist <laughs> of all things, saw the presidential assassination. Why was he out at midnight anyway? Just like, I'm gonna- Gotta get me a scoop! Gotta get me a scoop! Like, what? Okay, and then they're like- Maybe he had a tip off or something. Th yeah, then they gotta like bury the president's body, hoping that no police drive by and see someone burying something. <laughs> Hi, Jim! Heck of a night! Right? The yeah. bones from the body buried 12 years ago would have still remained. According to Mr. Powers, construction was about to begin soon at this lot. Oh. That was the deadline. Both for the movie and the retrieval of the body. Because they would have found the body when they started the construction. Agent Lane, let us search the footprints that Blaze dug up. Yeah. If the body was buried there, there'd be traces of it. Hey, somebody call forensics! Honestly, if he left the body there, I think it would have been fine. Because people would have just been like, whoa, what happened? Oh, crazy stuff happens, you know. I have the results of the search. Oh, we found traces of the dirt that suggest a body was buried there. <laughs> so it was Juan after all. Oh, we also recovered the skeletal remains that Blaze the Best dug up. They were in his home. <laughs> whoa. Hey, Sebastian, check out this cool skeleton I got. It's it'll an early look, birthday present it'll for It'll look you. great for Halloween. <laughs> no, look, some people do taxidermy. Blaze the Best is like, I'm going to put a real human skeleton in my house. Yeah. <laughs> in addition to the bone structure, the dental records and the bone fractures all match up. They called the dentist? Yeah. We can confirm that it was indeed President Juan. Hey, hey, uh, President Juan. He had amazing canines. President Juan's <laughs> dentist, I just want to make sure you know, there were, um, three fillings here. And, and, is that, is that true? Uh, yeah, President Juan was, okay, cool, well, we just found his dead body, bye! <laughs> <laughs> so the real President Juan was indeed killed 12 years ago. This is so weird. The SS5 incident was a murder. Monsters footprints data updated in the organizer. Yeah, SS5 incident is one of the darkest incidents in the I series, mean, I'd say. It's not quite as dark as I think the one where the guy swallowed the bottle of poison. No, no, it's not. I don't think it's as dark as that. This is dark because you're like, really? <laughs> this happened? It's also kind of crazy. Also, I just want to point out that Shelley Killer alluded to this where he's like, the president's a very careful man. He even uses body doubles. I forgot about, you know, I forgot about that line, but he, yep, you're right. I do remember that now. So the SS5 incident was actually a murder incident, but there's some, so much information, it's way too confusing. Indeed. Let us take this opportunity to review the details of the case. First, the real president came to the orphanage, right? Twelve years ago, the true president Juan visited the orphanage in order to meet his son. The footsteps in the snow that we thought belonged to Mr. Cameron were most likely made by the president at the time. President Juan was supposed to meet his son here. However, the one who actually showed up was the assassin, Sirhan Dogen. He came here to meet his son, but was murdered instead. How horrible! Also, I, re I didn't realize this until recently, but apparently Sirhan Dogen... So Dogen is obviously a pun on dog, and Sirhan is after named after the assassin Sirhan Sirhan, who apparently murdered uh, Senator Kennedy. Oh! I mean, that's a good play on words, but dang. I wonder what it was in Japanese. I do not know. But I kind of like that name for the English. Yeah. What a good job translating. Holy a crap. Plus. Like, I'm very much a fan of this. You'd never know that this wasn't official. Mm-hmm. Did you already read yeah, that? Yeah, I already read that. Sorry. A man like Dogen shows no mercy. And after that, the second tragedy occurred. You mean Mr. Cameron's murder? Indeed. Mr. Cameron saw the decisive moment. After the real president was killed by Dogen, his body was carried to the rear courtyard by the team of kidnappers. Mr. Cameron must have witnessed that moment from the orphanage entrance. Although, he himself believed that he had actually witnessed a kidnapping. Furthermore, by this time... The body double, who had come to meet up with Blaze and Miss Rowland, was already standing behind Mr. Cameron. And then the witness to the incident, Mr. Cameron... ...was killed by the body double. So, was Mr. Cameron's corpse also carried by the body double? Yes. That seems likely. But 
There wasn't anything at the crime scene that looked like the body double's footprints. Heh. <laughs> I've already figured out how he accomplished that. There is a piece of evidence that would have made it possible. What did the body double use to move the body without leaving any footprints? Now it's the shoes. This is almost certainly how the body double carried Mr. Cameron's corpse. After Mr. Cameron was killed, the president's body double carried him into the middle of the garden. I suspect the body double was wearing the same shoes as the real president at the time. If he made sure to step precisely on top of the footprints left by the real president, since the shoes were the same. There would only be one set of footprints left behind in the snow. I think I've got a pretty good grasp on the SS5 incident now. But there's still one thing I don't get. What's that? Why did they need to stage the abduction? Because Mr. Cameron witnessed the incident. He saw the president at the orphanage. He left behind witness testimony on Miss Crane's answering machine. Even Blaze couldn't make that disappear. Ergo, the body double needed a reason for the president to have been at the orphanage. And that's why they prepared the fake kidnapping charade? The people in the fake photo are the body double, and most likely, Patricia Rowland. The person in the coat is Miss Rowland? What makes you say that? The two would have to had to leave the orphanage in order to take the picture. Just like when he moved the body, the, bo the double used the real president's footprints. So the second set of footprints must belong to the person in the coat. Indeed. We originally believed that those footprints belonged to Cameron's killer. They were size 7 footprints, too small for Blaze's feet. He's got big honking feet. Well, most guys don't have size 7 True. footprints. True. Thus we can presume that the person playing the part of the kidnapper was Patricia Rowland. Hidden in the shadow of the presidential kidnapping was a presidential assassination. I mean, that's pretty clever. I don't know how they pulled that off. I see. So that's why my old man... Why he... what? The old man must have realized that a murder had taken place. After all, he had the kid's drawing. However, that picture was never presented as evidence. Your father likely took it from the unwitnessed during the investigation and hid it. He had to have known that Juan was dead. But what if he had revealed that back then? Reveal the death of the president, the backbone of Zane Fa. It would have caused chaos. And that's why my old man took the secret to his grave. He even took the blame for the kidnapping, knowing that it would be the fall of the House of Lane. So this is the truth that Agent Lane's father hid 12 years ago. And now it's all become clear. SS5 incident case files updated in the organizer. Is that really the case, I wonder? Huh? What? Who's there? 